Hello everyone. Good day all. Welcome to CAD CAM AeroDS tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to design a V engine connecting rod. There are different types of connecting rod in automobile. And today our focus is on how to design a V engine connecting rod. Okay. Now this is how a V engine connecting rod looks like. V engine are high performance and high speed engine. And some of the components there must be different, quite different from conventional one. Okay. Now if you have your solid work installed in your, in your desktop or laptop, you double click on the icon, you will have this interface. Okay. We we'll first have this interface here. I'll say no. This is the first interface. When you click it open, this is what you have. And this is SolidWorks 2017. Um, you, to get a new interface, working document or the working user interface, come to File, drop, drop down menu, or you come to Main menu. You can get it from here, Control N, or this con just click on the and the new icon you have your new document open like i told you in the introduction we have three types of document in solidworks you have the parts you have the assembly and the drawing now we are designing the parts you click on part and say okay click on part and say okay now i want to have on my background to be white now come to this apply scene on the apply scene and click white. I want my background to be white for a clearer picture and a quality image. Okay. Now I'll start sketching on front, front plane. I'll sketch on front plane and sketch. Make it normal. Okay. Come to line. Click a line. Okay. Any two you pick, the your cursor will definitely change. Now I'll start sketching for my origin. I'll sketch a line. To this extent, bring it down. Okay, that line is too much. Okay, according to the specification I have, the line should be small. I can delete it. Okay, now, like I told you, you can drag this here origin using the key combination of middle mask button with your external mask for you to have flexibility and to design where you must buy external mask to help you navigate for easy navigation around your user interface with your middle mask button. And control key, you can shift your origin down. As now, I want to start from origin to have a nose speed up here. I pick my line. Okay. I start sketching from here. Sketch up here. Sketch up to this extent. Now, I want to have an arc. To have an arc, to change a line from arc, if you click, like I move away from that point as I'm returning my mouse to that very point, as I'm taking it, it becomes an arc. Okay, I want it, I'll take it back. Okay, I want it like this. Okay, like this. Okay, as many times you bring your mouse back, it will turn to an arc. Okay, I want it to turn to a straight line, take it back there. I'll click here. Okay, I need a straight line. Need another arc in this place. Okay. Need another arc. I'll bring it back. I'll take it from bring it back to that point. I'll have this point. Okay. Now I can shift it down to have this space. Okay. I want it to be like this. Okay. To drop down your, your control key, to drop down your tool. Right click and select or press escape key on your keyboard. Is that clear? Come to line, center line. Pick a line, make sure it's perpendicular. If it's not perpendicular, it's horizontal, vertical. Click on it, make vertical from here, make it vertical. Okay, I want to align this midpoint of this arc to this point. I'll click on this line, take it. Align it to here, okay. Very good. Now, 
begin to dimension, smart dimension. Select very well. Please select this portion. Put 36. Click OK. This angle. Angle is 122. Okay. Angle is 120. And this portion here, it is over here 3.5. 3.5. And this arc, this arc is 50. Okay. This arc is 50. And then an arc here, this arc also is 50. Okay. This arc is 50. This arc is 50. And this one. This arc is 14. 14. I want to put the relation. Okay, this one is 25. There is 25. 25. I'll draw down my tool. I want to draw my dimension tool. I'll click back on the dimension tool to be dropped. I want to put the relation. I want this arc and this line to be tangent. I'll click on this. Add, click on the line. I wait for it to display. Make it tangent, okay? So make it tangent. This is how you pull relations, okay? Now I measure, I'll measure small dimension. This time from this point to this origin, 125, 125. Enter, okay? Now drop down your tool. Circle, put a circle here, put a circle, small dimension, diameter 50, okay, diameter 50, now put another circle here, Circle here, dimension, diameter 18, okay, that's very good. Now, drop down your, drop your tool, trim some parts, you want to trim the parts, some of the parts you don't want. You want to power trim, power trim, select option, power trim, you have to press down your mouse, your left mouse, mouse. And, and trim that part, trap this arc, okay? This is what we want, okay? Now we want to mirror it with your window selection, left my button, press down, select it, you want to mirror it, come to mirror entity, you automatically mirror to this side, okay? You have it, you have your part mirror perfectly. Now, as two boss base, as two boss base, you can see how your sketch is now becoming a 3D um, end condition mid plane, and the thickness of this uh, connecting rod is 15. Okay, click OK. That's very good. Okay, now click on this side and sketch. Click on it and sketch. Come to this place and make normal from your standard view. Click on this part, this part, and this arc. Okay, click on two of them and convert entities. Okay, they're becoming darker. Like I told you, convert entities is another way of sketching on already existing uh, sketch surface. Convert entities is another way of sketching on already existing. Um, solid surface. Okay, right.
Circle to move. I drag it up. You can have circle, larger circle. I can directly put my input and make it 60. Okay, you can set it or you go to smart dimension to measure it. Okay, line to connect this line to this space. Okay, to this space. That's right. Okay. Now, another circle. Very circle at any diameter, leave it okay. Drop it to. I want to make this circle and the the combined this uh, part make it cooler. To do that, click on this the circumference of this circle. Hold on your control key, click on this line, move your hand, make cooler, make cooler, okay. Make cooler, okay. You now say okay. Undo that again. Undo that. It did not. Okay. Undo. It didn't. Okay. I'll undo this line, circle, and this circle. Record here. It's still not giving me what I want. Okay. Now I want to make this code here. We're going to say conference of this circle. Hold on your control key. This outside, okay. Click on it. Make correct here, okay. Okay, this is what I want. And let it delete some part. Trim entities. I'm going to trim this part, okay. Trim this part. Zoom. Middle mouse button to zoom in and zoom out. Trim this part, okay. This is the portion we want to. Can zoom, zoom fit, okay. This is what we want to sketch now. A robot base, okay. We are going to extrude it by 2.5, 2.5, enter, okay. That is what we want. Say, okay, this is what we want now. You can mirror this part to this other side. You come to your feature manager. The last sketch you did here, just click on this. Just click from your feature manager. The last extrude was the that extrude to come to mirror part. Mirror. Okay. Let the plane you have to mirror it about. Open the part from here. Come to mirror it about the front plane. Okay. You see how the image is mirroring the other side. You now say okay. As I would as mirror the part you just I designed now, okay. Now click on this part, this surface sketch made normal. Okay, I'm gonna put a slot, open slot, straight slot, start sketching from here. Okay, expand it, smart dimension, smart dimension. Put the radius to be five. Okay, and the distance from this point to this point. Measure to be fifty-five as millimeters. Remember, you already selected. You endeavor to select the unit you are working with. The unit I'm working with is millimeter gram second. You can come down here. Click on that flyer. You see other units here. Okay, the one that I selected is now the one I selected. I'm working with. It's millimeter gram second, okay? Okay, select from this point to this point. To this point, I make sure it is 45, okay? Is that clear? Now I'm going to extrude cut, extrude cut, okay? I'm going to cut it inside by five, five millimeters, okay? That's good. You can as well mirror this over the other side by clicking on this extrude cut now a uh, feature manager. Click on that, it's highlighted. Go to mirror on that feature. You have mirror. Okay, select the plane you are mirroring about. Is this selection and um, plane mirror selection board is highlighted? Come to part, open the part from here. I want to mirror it about the same plane. See it's mirror the other side. Click good. 
and it mirrors have it that's very good now now i want to chamfer this part chamfer 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 it by put to chamfer this kind of two millimeter with your degree angle click on this part okay click on that face chamfer it this face okay make sure your full preview is selected so that you will see anywhere you want to chamfer it will be highlighted for you to see okay click on this part click on this other surface okay that edge all the four edges you now say okay that's good now position this isometric that's very good highlight a front plane click on front plane when you add a plane to front plane you can double click you can put on your control key if this is your arrow change you can drag it up to add a new plane drag up to add a new plane i'll show you another option wait for it to display an option now a plane has been added to top plane so at this time you put it at this time 25 i'll cancel this to show you the normal way to add a plane okay i'll click on top plane and adding a plane to top plane come to feature go to reference geometry okay click on plane i wait for it to open okay you are adding it up i'm adding it up by 25 okay i put 25 here okay it has been shifted 25 up click ok okay that's very good now click on this plane now you can select it from here or if you can't select it from there come to this feature manager the plane is there click on it and sketch from there okay if you have sketch okay you have sketch on this plane now now you can make normal okay click on normal that's very good okay now i want to exit it click down i'll remove that sketch okay i'm not clicking on it yet now i'll just click on it just click highlight click on this plane okay select on it go to whole wizard on that feature see whole wizard click on whole wizard i want to put a hole to that plane okay select this counter ball counter ball select on it okay go down select from here din okay din the standard din um come to type go to head has gonna socket head din six nine one two click on it select that okay come to the size m6 that is the size okay go down okay normal select through all okay that's very good come to position from that whole wizard specification come to this other this side come to whole okay make normal make normal click on here and bring down the whole click on this hole click on this this piece okay that's very good okay or just click in one side i'll undo okay let it be one side that's very good now you put your smart dimension from this point to this point okay this point to this point then to make sure it's 30 30 millimeter okay to position it where okay now center line from here center line make sure it's, it's vertical i can click on it to verify make vertical okay now you can with your left mouse button click down highlight window crossing highlight mirror entity okay it has been mirrored this other side that's very good that's what we want and make sure the distance from here to check that distance is the same thing Make sure the distance is the same from here to this place. See, it's a 30. Just 
escape key to remove it because if you click on it it will tell you that <coughs> your sketch is overdriven we, we don't want that okay you can drop your tool now now you can see it okay you can middle mouse button scroll to have this and go back to type okay don't click go here go back to type switch over to type okay go down click on through all this through all reverse direction reverse direction okay that's very good now click good i tell you to put this hole now you see the our hole has been driven in this part that's very good now make keep isometric zoom with a middle mouse button scroll to zoom make it big click on that plane and sketch on the plane sketch on the plane okay now you can zoom come to this view display style okay come to display style view wireframe choose wireframe okay make normal that's very good but we want to highlight this convert entities this outer part click on convert entities click on this part click on this part okay and convert entities now go to display style we shaded go back to the normal shader with it okay feature extrude code extrude code and condition through all okay through all so I to bust across the so two surfaces okay that's very good now if you view other oh, extrude code Okay, I'm going to reverse that extrude code. Okay, let it go up rather. Okay, click on this extrude code. Click on it as edit feature. Edit feature. You have it. Okay, we reverse. Let the direction go up. That's very good. This is what we want. We want it to cut from upper surface. Okay, this is what we want. So style is very flexible. You can you do a mistake. You can edit it. Okay, this case you are done with this plane. Now you can click on the plane from here. I, or you come to this plane one click on hide okay you don't want to see the plane again now we'll begin to fillet our part fillet fillet value scroll down is the default number is 10 to 5 enter select this part select this part okay select this portion here okay switch over Middle mouse button to rotate. Middle mouse button press down to rotate to orbit your sketch. Okay. Five. That is what we want. Okay. Now. Okay. Fillet again. Value of fillet put for enter. This part. Click on this part, this surface, this surface, okay, this surface, okay, and this edge, like it four, and I'll say okay, It did not affect it. Click on fillet again. Four. No, it's not zero zero four. You can undo that. Okay. Undo that fillet. Undo the fillet again. Okay. Go back to the first one. Put five. Enter. Select this part. Select this part. Rotate or beat it. Okay. This part and this part. You now say okay. That is very good. Okay. Now Put fillet, fillet radius five, four rather four. Okay, it's four. You know this part. Okay, and this edge, and this other edge. 
okay and middle mouse button you can orbit your page rotate it okay this part okay now say okay click good okay fillet again put three enter fillet this edge this part okay fillet this part fillet inside inside here okay inside this other side okay now make your cage make it more beautiful okay fillet again put um 0 0.2 0 0.2 um, fillet 0 0.2 0 0.2 point two there okay that is age that is age for safety purpose for better handling that is age so the age of this slot the age of this slot okay Lower before you skew, you select. If I not select the wrong one, the edges we are select not the face. Say the east edge. I say this face and this face. Okay. Select, select this back. Say this face. I mean this face. Okay. The face. That is other face. That's only two faces. Other ones are edges. Okay. Um. Select. Okay. Click good. That is okay. Select again. That is the whole side. The whole this side. The whole. Okay. That is very good. Now, I want to put. A material come to material right click and edit material okay that the material for your design you want to put alloy steel you want to design alloy come to aluminium alloy alloy for aluminium that is 10 cc alloy click apply and close click to apply the material and close okay this is how alloy steel look like okay this how it look like okay now don't fail to save your work before you start save it okay i have constant line that is why i have the courage to design from the beginning to the end without uh, saving before you you to avoid any uh, disaster after you complete your work upon saving it you discover that your life will trip up or something might happen to your system it's very advisable I want you to start sketching. Why well, start start modeling? Say from the first page, okay? As you start, start save save your work and name it properly. I want to save my work. Click on the save icon. Choose where you want to save it, okay? Choose. I've already designed it, so I don't need to name. I just name okay. I name connecting rod. Connecting rod, okay? Connecting rod. Maybe I can up here. Anything about I'm not saying it. Okay. That's very good. As you save it, you see the name here. So that is the end of this tutorial. You will follow us in the next tutorial where we shall design other components of connecting rod. We shall design the piston, the connecting rod cap, and the pin, and even the bearing. And thereafter, we shall assemble them. So you will follow in. The coming tutorial is that clear thank you for watching don't fail to subscribe to our youtube channel cat camp the tutorial for more tutorials okay thank you for watching